Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Sophie Society. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. And for today, I'm gonna to be doing a Sephora haul. As y'all know, a couple weeks ago, they had the uh, Beauty Insider or VIB spring sale. So I had to get a couple things, ya. Now, before we get into the video, I wanna make, make it clear a lot of my items are the mini version one because it's cheaper two because i literally even though i love makeup as you can see but i really don't ever wear i wear makeup maybe like once every two weeks so a lot of my stuff expires fast i just don't use a lot of products so i just wanted to make that clear and also let's get some clarity on this subscription y'all go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below okay and let's get into the video Alrighty, let's start off with some skincare. I only bought two things regarding skincare, and the first thing I got was this Mario Badescu Vitamin C Serum. Um, I love vitamin C serums for my face routine, and I really, my intention was to repurchase this, the Ule Henriksen Vitamin C Serum truth serum because i love this stuff this is so bomb this is my first vitamin c serum ever and i bought it a while a while ago and i was trying to repurchase it but they were sold out so um i just decided to choose another brand and so i got the mario badescu one and at first when i first opened it i was like because the ule henriksen smells like oranges like it smells like vitamin c this one not so much and then I was also nervous because when I put it on my I just put it a little bit on my hand just to kind of see the consistency of it and it felt very much like oil but then after a second it absorbed perfectly at first I thought this was like an oil I was like I don't want no oil I ain't want oil I wanted a serum but no this uh, absorbed really nice so I haven't used it on my face yet but I first got this and this was $45 for one ounce so hopefully this works great next for skincare I just repurchased the Ule Henriksen glow 2 dark spot toner this toner works amazing uh, this is another repurchase looks like this this works so good y'all and it smells so nice to me for some reason but this works amazing for little dark marks that you may get from breakouts or anything like that sunspots this works really good this was $16 for 2.2 ounces like I said I got the mini version I still have um, half of my other one left so yes sir this works so good now let's get into a little bit of makeup the reason we're all here so I did purchase the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop is this a foundation or a tinted moisturizer what is this blurring skin tint so like a tinted moisturizer and I got it in the color 20 because in the Fenty soft glam or soft matte foundation I am in the shade 420 so it recommended that I get the shade 20 in this and it's been a lot of people talking about how great this is um, online and I'm actually going to be doing a like first impressions of this but this is how it looks And yeah, I'm so excited to use this because I'm not a big foundation person. Um, to be honest, I actually just started wearing foundation maybe, I'll say like six months ago. Um, I used to just do concealer and like finishing powder, but I never got into foundation um, just because I don't like things on my face. But I am wearing foundation right now. But yeah, I do like skin uh, tinted moisturizers or BB cream. So I got this and this was... $29.50 for 1.8 ounces. Got that. Okay, guys, next I also finally purchased the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This is in the shade Honey because people have been... I followed the hype with this one. People rave about this freaking setting powder under their eyes for women of color in the shade Honey so much. So I was like, let me just get it. And I did also get the mini version. This was $23 for 0.33 ounces. And I'm so excited to try this just because like I've been wanting to get it for a while. I hope it, it's, it's it's the hype, you know, lives up to this. So this lives up to the hype. But if this works great and if I really like it, then I'm going to get this in the full size. If y'all hear something in the background, that's my dog chewing on something, child. 
I did go ahead. This was just a random little something I wanted to try out. This is the Hourglass um, Concealer, the Vanish. This is how the packaging looks. And this is in the mini as well. This was $15. Um, I don't know why I got this. I just wanted to try out a new concealer. This is an airbrush vanish concealer in uh, maple. And I don't know. This is how the color looks. I just wanted to try out a new concealer. And I think I've heard good things about this. But I can't remember. So uh, if I like it then I'll repurchase it in the bigger size. And then lastly for makeup. Child. Now, if y'all, if you know me, if anybody knows me, I am frugal friend, okay? Um, and I do, like, I'm a drugstore makeup person because to me, it does the same thing. It's not necessarily the makeup that you buy, it's the technique. If you know how to put on makeup, you can make anything work. And I also do like to get, like, higher in uh, makeup from, like, TJ Maxx and Marshalls and things like that because it's discounted. But, child, uh, it's a big step for me now. I did purchase some Charlotte Tilbury makeup and I love the packaging and I've been hearing really great things about this brand um, so, and I like amazing things about this brand so I really wanted to try it I can't lie so what I did get I got the airbrush setting spray in this is how it looks. Look at the packaging. So nice. So pretty. And this is in the mini as well. This was $20 for 1.1 ounces. I'm excited to try it out. It says party all night, stay all day, airbrush flawless setting spray. I'm so excited to use this. So I got that. And like I said, the packaging is so nice. It's just like elegant. It kind of goes with my vibe. Like golden. Mm. Then guys for the big kahuna i did not buy this in a uh, mini size i got this in the full size child this was 55 zoolas for 0 0.56 ounces and i am in the color deep well that's what i got it in this is the infamous airbrush matte bronzer and the packaging very nice very luxe this is how it looks i don't know if y'all can see that but this is the shade deep I was very very nervous to purchase this only because there weren't many shades because it is a bronzer so there weren't many shades to choose from and I didn't want this to be too dark I didn't want it to be too light I just wanted it to be perfect so I referenced um, a lady named I am Shelly on YouTube if you guys know who I'm talking about I feel like me and her are like close to the same shade her face like is always snatched and she uses this and she uses shade deep so I was like okay this might work for me but guys I haven't used it yet but I'm going to and I'm doing a full get ready with me um, using this in the Fenty skin tint so I will let you guys know so be on the lookout for that but I'm so anxious to use this I hope it does me justice and we're down to the last two items these are not skincare or makeup but I did get I really wanted to purchase this this is from the brand you guys may have seen it on Instagram called bread get that bread get that ooh lily ah ah but yeah this is the hair oil it says everyday gloss and I had intentions on buying the full size version but I didn't know she came in a mini and you know me I love a good mini job and so this is the everyday hair gloss oil like I told you guys this was $14 for 30 uh, milliliters and I'm excited to use this. Some people use it. She has like a hair and body oil in one. And then she has one that's strictly hair. And that's what I got. Oh, wow. Wow, this brings back memories. And I don't know from what. If, are y'all like that? I have, you know how some people they can, I don't know what it's called, like sensory memory. If I, certain scents, like take me to an instant memory. And that's how I am with uh, any kind of sense. I, my memory is just triggered. Mmm, this smells like berries. But I'm excited to use this. So, it's not like a hair growth oil. It's just a uh, multi-purpose hair goodness. Hair oil blend for everyday multi-way use. Delicately soft but powerful. This multi-purpose oil with Australian kakadu plum. Mm, helps provide an anti-greasy, pro-glossy feel for the softest, smoothest, dewiest looking strands. Tell me! I don't need to be on somebody's TV reading a teleprompter. Okay, one thing I can do is read. 
Okay guys, and lastly, I just got um, some perfume. Now it's not the full size, I told y'all I'm on a budget. But um, if you've been watching my vlogs, if you haven't, then click on the screen and check out some of my vlogs, because we lit. I'm not a big perfume person, but I do like perfumes. I think, to be completely honest, I think once I start making more money in my career, in my life, that I probably will become a perfume person. Let's keep it a buck, perfumes are expensive. But um, I do like smelling nice when I need to. But I went ahead and got the Mini Daisy Perfume Set by Marc Jacobs. And I'm glad that I am starting off my uh, perfume purchases with trials and minis because I don't wanna blindly buy some perfume just because somebody else says it smells good and then it's thanked to me. I don't like musky scents, so I'm gonna put that out there. But anyways. I'm glad that I did buy the mini version of these because these don't smell, they're not nasty, like I would definitely wear these, but they don't smell like good enough for me to purchase a full size. Mini Daisy Perfume said this was $25 and it comes with two um, mini perfumes from Marc Jacobs collection. It comes with the Daisy Love and then just Daisy. Um, I don't like floral scents, but this isn't floral how I thought it was going to be like it's 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 a better floral this is kind of I don't know how to say it like it's easy for stuff to smell old lady ish to me this is on the verge like I will wear this but it's on the verge I definitely like the daisy a little bit better than the daisy love the daisy almost has like tiny uh hints of the product candy to me a little bit the Daisy Love is a little bit more on the church lady and flowers scent, but it's not as bad. But I would still wear this, but that's why I got the small size. All right, guys, and that concludes my Sephora haul. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I've been working really hard over here, okay? And I'm really trying to run up my subscribers. So if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the button. It's free. Comment down below, give this video a like, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Keep it sitting